Hi, a warm welcome to Shendra's Engineering Tutorials. Another important lecture video from the playlist Control Systems Engineering. And another important topic, very important topic, very, very important topic, board plots, board plots. Uh, for a beginner, my suge our suggestion is, uh, don't go straight into solving a numerical. No, it will be quite confusing. You can do any sort of given problem, any system for, you can obtain the board plot of any given system. If you get used to some important terminology such as uh, some concepts, some uh, terminologies are there. Unless and until you get used to that, it will be quite confusing going straight away into the numerical. For example, corner frequency. What is the concept of a corner frequency? And where do we come across a corner frequency? And uh, for a given system, if you are able to split into different factors, then at a snap you can do it. So that will you can do only by knowing some introduction part. Right? Guys, I know, uh, video will be lengthy, but promising. And you will have a lot of answer for a lot of questions which, you, which arises in your mind if you are a beginner to board plot. Stay with me till the end. It's promising. You can understand a lot of points. And guys, don't go for a problem. Don't go in solving a numerical without a similar graph sheet, semi logarithm graph sheet in your hands. How that look li looks like? Guys, uh, it will be like this one. Uh, highlighted line. Another highlighted line after 10 count. Okay. Another highlighted line like this one. Another after 10 count. Another, another highlight highlighted okay and in between you will you will be having some faded lines and uh, on the top of the graph you can see very clearly it will be written 1 2 3 dot 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 9 and once again the highlighted one with a 1 All right go going ahead it will be 2 3 the faded lines 2 3 4 5 dot 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 9 again the highlight the next highlighter with a 1 again so it's it's in, it's increasing in the multiple of 10 right and another you know, 2, 3, 4, the faded lines, dot, 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 8, 9. And the highlighted line will be 10. Okay. And we'll be having frequency uh, in radians in this axis. And uh, what do we have on this axis? It's a A in dB. A in dB. The magnitude in dB. K in magnitude in, magnitude in dB. Okay. And other than this one, you'll be, you will find out, you'll be finding horizontal lines also this will be highlighted in between some thin faded lines again you'll have a bold line again faded again bold line like that uh, some bold lines like this one and in between some faded and thin lines you can find out so guys so this one we can arrange yeah even this also can be arranged according to our convenience of course yeah this will be for supposing let it be 10 rise to minus 1 what 10 rise to minus 1 it's a omega equal to 0 0.1 like that Right, and uh, numerical says what after going this side, what will be after minus one? It should be zero, right? And this side, it should be 10 rise to minus two, isn't it? So, in that case, it's 10 rise to zero, it's 10 rise to zero. After that, one 10 rise to two, isn't it? Please watch carefully. This is the way we split the given graph into so 10 rise to it's a 10 rise to minus it's a 0 0.1. Now, this will be this highlighted line will be 0 0.1, okay? Now, this will be 0 0.2. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, dot, 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 0 0.9 and 1. See, can you see this? This will become 1. 10 rise to 0. Anything rise to 0, that will be 1. So, here we have 1. Okay. So, go ahead. Uh, if this is 1, this will be 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 9 and 10. This, this bold line will be 10. See, 10 rise to 1, it's a 10. Right. It, if this is 10, this will be 20, 30, 40, dot, 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 80, 90, 100. This should be 100. Check that. 10 square, it's a 100. So, next comes 1000. Next comes 10,000. Check it. <laughs> if I could say it, if we have a graph over there, this is how we divide the graph. And should we start always? Should we always start with 0 0.1? No, that is according to the requirement of the given system. We'll we'll be having a pre-calculated all values of omega and the factors. Then we can change that into according to our convenience. For this, for introduction part, for you guys to understand, I've started with this one. A lot of students will be asking, should we start with 0 0.1? No, <laughs> it's not mandatory to start only with 0 0.1. We can start with any value. Okay. So what do we have on this vertical axis? Um, 0 dB. 0 dB. And once again, 0 dB should start at the middle. No, it's according to our convenience. 
right? Uh, let's solve some series of numericals, then you can understand how to design uh, the graph sheet according to our convenience. Seriously, it's according to our convenience. These are okay, these are standard values, but should we start from 0.01 .01 or should we start from 1? It's according to completely according to our convenience. Keep this in mind. And this one, 0 dB. Should this 0 dB lie at the center? It's not a mandatory. It can start from here. It can start from here, anywhere, according to the values we obtain before, like before coming to the graph, we'll have some calculations, right? So, according to that, zero. Uh, going above, it will be plus 10 dB. It's in dB, expressed gain in dB, okay? Gain in magnitude in dB. Uh, 10 dB plus 20 dB, etc. And as we come down, it's minus 10 dB and uh, minus 20 dB, etc., etc. Right? Should this uh, zero, guys, should this zero dB be exactly the same is that mandatory no it can go anywhere according to our convenience seriously i swear and this is minus 20 and so okay so uh, below the zero it's a negative values and above the zero it's positive values guys this has to be you have to keep in mind this one right and in the exam point of view demand for a similar graph sheet is your right draw it on a uh, root locus it can be drawn on a plain paper polar plot again on a plain paper uh, Nyquist plot on a plain paper you can show that but similar graph sheet you have to have board plot you have to have a similar graph sheet and what sort of factors you come across guys the very important one important all the factors are important isn't it uh, a factor which you under, which you can understand from the beginning okay. for supposing we have a factor g of s is equal to first order factor in the denominator 1 by 1 plus st you will know if what is this t over here when you do a numerical s into t what is that t right so guys uh, a frequency domain analysis as soon as that comes into your uh, as soon as you're doing that one if you are in frequency domain analysis you have to plug in s is equal to j omega yeah you have to plug in and another important uh, basic you might have forgot let me remind you a complex number a plus j b a plus j b what will be the magnitude of this one this can be written as under root a square plus b square isn't it and another one only with a plus j zero magnitude that will be under root a square plus zero square no significance for this zero and this root and square i mean gets cancelled and we'll be left with a magnitude of a is simply a negative a even if that negative a it, there will be change in the phase angle okay and what if we have a uh, 0 plus j b even that under root 0 square plus b square and this 0 has no significance and uh, b root will be cancelled we'll left with b so keep that in mind we have this one over here this one 1 plus j 0 right you have to understand this one you might get confused so i gave a just a ignition Definitely, you might have forgot about all that. So, guys, what will be G of J omega? Of uh, J omega, plugging in S is equal to J omega, we'll be having 1 plus J 0 because no imaginary 0. Will that be a problem for you to understand? No. So, this one 1 plus J omega T. Now, guys, how to write the magnitude of this one? Magnitude A is equal to magnitude of G of uh, J omega. Will that be this one? Once again, the same one, uh, a plus j0, it's simply a and so we have 1, okay. And uh, this one, we have both a and b, so that will give us under root 1 plus omega t whole square. We don't have this one, that says magnitude says a square plus b square, a plus j b complex number. And uh, guys, what do we have, what, what values do we have on this axis? It's a, a in db, guys remember, similar graph sheet, the gain is always expressed in uh, db db 20 log it's a standard value it comes from a very uh, previous uh, uh, concepts napier frequency it starts from there right at this point it's not that important but yeah we have that importance while uh, we we don't need to dig all that just remember gain uh, magnitude is expressed in db a in db a in db how to write that down that one it's a 20 log magnitude of g of j omega that's it which is equal to if this is the one plug in this one so what do we have 20 log 1 by under root 1 plus omega t whole square 
okay guys 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 need more much of your attention much of your attention now now we have to talk about two uh, separations it's a uh, like uh, the frequency omega t being much lesser than 1 and omega t much greater than 1 two important uh, um, relations to be discussed over here to reach to find if what we are in search of okay so if this is the case if omega t is very much less than 1 omega t whole square will be even more less than 1 isn't it so under this case i repeat if omega t is less than 1 omega t whole square will be even more less than 1 omega t equals 0 0.1 omega 0 0.1 whole square 0 0.01 isn't it so in that case uh, uh, if this is the case this can be neglected so a will be equal to 20 log under root guys 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 a small change over here what we have is 20 log, log m by n 20 log m by n that gives us log m by log m minus log n isn't it so 20 log 1 minus 20 log under root 1 plus omega t whole square now going back to this very discussion guys uh, as you know this log 1 it's a 0 so we have nothing to do with this one 20 log 1 that will be 0 check it if you have any doubt put your uh, on your calculator and do this 20 log 1 it's 0 and we are left with this one minus 20 log uh, and here if this is the case this could be neglected okay this could be neglected and even this root 1 is a 1 so even this entire now this one will be 0 for this assumption omega t less than very much less than 1 so guys come over here omega t greater than much greater than 1 omega t square will be even more greater than 1 so under that case we can neglect this one once again a is equal to guys straight away uh, 20 log 1 is 0 i cannot write all that so for the denominator part we can have minus 20 log under root 1 plus omega t whole square with this assumption with this assumption uh, we can neglect this one we can neglect this becomes uh, inactive with this assumption okay so we can consider only this one and once again with this consideration this square and root gets cancelled so we'll be left with a will be a will be minus 20 guys 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 please make a note over here i didn't write this 20 log 1 20 log 1 is a 0 so i left it i didn't write it okay so it's straight away minus 20 log uh, i have written this one so please don't get confused over here waste of time and so i didn't write down that one 20 minus 20 log omega t okay so two more uh, separation over here uh, in multiples of 10 well, for first one omega t equal to 10 raise to 0 and uh, multiple of 10 omega t equal to 10 raise to 1 what do i mean by this one for omega t equal to 1 okay 10 raise to 0 1 right so omega t equal to 10 now what the gain the magnitude will be let's check the magnitude will be a is equal to minus 20 log omega t omega t we have just went for 1 right and this will be 0 minus 20 log 1 omega t equal to 1 so that gave us 0 okay come over here with omega t equal to 10 omega t equal to 10 plug in the value of omega t equal to 10 why this one is this a random no it's a standard value we are looking for different values of omega t in, in increment of 10 10 raise to 0 and 10 raise to 1 and 10 raise to 2 etc etc okay now guys considering this factor now after neglecting uh, for this condition okay omega t very much larger than 1 this has this has no much significance and uh, this will be cancelled and omega t we are left with this one now another two important assumptions over here uh, for different values of omega t omega t equal to 10 raise to 0 or oh, come back to the, this one this one this one omega t is equal to 10 raise to 1 one case and in other case omega t equal to 10 raise to 1 okay omega t equal to 10 raise to 1 in the sense it's a 10 
and this one it's a one right so plugging in these values back to the expression for the magnitude a will be equal to minus 20 log 1 and that gives us 0 a very important uh, point to be remembered and over here a will be equal to 20 log 10 that and log 10 it's a 1 you guys what about negative we have a negation over here isn't it this is very important negative how can i forget that even you also cannot forget that no it's very important over here negative 20 log 10 guys log 10 log 10 it's a 1 isn't it so uh, finally a will be equal to minus 20 so guys uh, at omega t equal to 10 the magnitude in db magnitude in db is minus 20 how to mark that one here omega t equal to 10 um, at this frequency omega t equal to 10 the gain is minus 20 db now this point mark this point this one okay and come back to this one omega t equal to 1 omega t equal to 1 where is that omega t equal to 1 here this is the 1 10 raised to 0 that's 1 omega t equal to 1 that's a 0 where is that 0 here this is the point okay so what it says guys for as far as this factor is concerned first order factor in the denominator as far as this factor is concerned the magnitude plot is a 0 db line here it's a 0 db line till yeah with the red it will be more convenient to understand it's a 0 db line till omega t equal to 1 up to that point where omega t equal to 1 it's a 0 db line this s less than this one from it's a 0 it's a 0 omega t equal to 1 it's a 0 so up to omega t equal to 1 it's a 0 db line and join this one after that join this line here this one okay it's a 0 db line 0 db and it's a minus 20 db per decade yeah 10 count right decade now here this is the important uh, uh, unit you have to remember minus 20 this one this one minus 20 db per decade guys this one this zero uh, another important point to be uh, memorized or remembered this zero db line and uh, minus 20 db line is interacting at a particular value of omega t what is that particular value of omega t here so what is the total slope of this factor now total slope I am talking about 0 dB plus minus 20 dB and so the total slope of the factor 1 plus 1 by ST first order factor in the denominator is total slope slope is equal to minus 20 dB per decade okay slope of the factor 1 by 1 plus ST and now uh, once again asking you the question this 0 db line is inter intersecting with the uh, minus 20 db line at what value of omega t at here change in the color okay omega at omega t equal to 1 right this is happening this intersection is uh, occurring at omega t equal to 1 and from this one omega will be equal to 1 by t okay guys this one with red understand the significance of this one omega t equal to omega t equal to 1 by t is the corner frequency of the factor 1 by 1 plus st yeah you have to remember i've told you you have to get used to some uh, terminology as far as board plot is concerned this is the one for the factor the first order factor in the denominator the total slope contribution is minus 20 db per decade and the corner frequency of this very factor is omega equal to 1 by t right so guys uh, what if we have 1 plus st square so that will be now nothing change over here um, it may be considered to be 1 by 1 plus st into 1 by 1 plus st and the corner frequency of this one will be this and the corner frequency of this factor will be this there will be and uh, slope total slope of this factor 1 by 1 plus st will be uh, that will be minus 40 db per decade right and for SK, uh, 1 plus st whole cube that will be minus 60 we'll check it right? uh, we cannot go much deeper it's going is becoming much lengthier so guys this is the information regarding the first order factor in the denominator make a note please it's another important factor while solving for board plot it will be g of uh, s will be equal to k 
by s or k by s square or k by s rise to n Th these sort of uh, factors right and once again the same procedure as we have done previously g of uh, j omega will be k by j omega and what it is is plus j zero and zero plus j omega so the magnitude factor a will be uh, magnitude of g of uh, j omega that will be so this is straight away k by omega once again k by omega right and uh, this is the board this is a similar graph sheet let's go for different values um, 10 rise to minus 1 in the sense it's a 0 0.1 and 10 rise to 0 it's a 1 10 rise to 1 it's a 10 it's a 100 and so on it's a 10 rise to minus 2 it's a 0 0.01 isn't it now uh, according to the problem uh, according to the given function let um, omega is equal to 0 0.1 k and uh, omega is equal to 1 k omega equal to 10 k let's see what happens if the scale is arranged according to that so now come back to the um, function now plugging in omega equal to 0 0.1 k okay so the gain magnitude a in db once again i'm sorry a in db that will give us expressing magnitude in db 20 log k by omega and plugging in this value what we have is will be equal to 20 log k and omega is 0 0.1 k so k gets cancelled so it's a uh, 20 log uh, 1 by 0 0.1 guys it's a uh, this one will be how to arrange this one 20 log uh, m by log n so that gives us 20 log 1 is 0 so i am leaving it away so minus 20 log 0 0.1 that will give us guys uh, it's a 20 db this 0 point log 0 point 1 it will be negative and uh, this negative becomes positive it's a 20 db so what at what value of omega omega is equal to 0 0.1 omega equal to 0 0.1 it's a plus 20 db this point right another one another one 10 count omega equal to 1k so a will be equal to 20 log k by 1k gets cancelled will be left with 20 log 1 20 log 1 so it's a 0 db which point omega equal to k we have uh, this one right so joining this one these two lines like this so much it's a uh, the slope is 20 db per decay okay and another one next one uh, to understand now changing the color omega equal to what is the next value 10k isn't it 10k so a will be equal to 20 log k by 10k right so that will be this gets cancelled and uh, 20 log 1 by 10 that will give us minus 20 db so at that point this one omega equal 10k now this point these two to be joined like this one so guys understand now from the graph it's 10 uh, it's 20 plus 20 so what it says how much is added to that plus 20 to come to this point minus 20 is added right so what value is added from this to this another 0 plus minus 20 and so we have this one so this says this says it's a straight line okay once again it's a straight line that uh, the uh, the factor has a straight line and uh, uh, with a inc with a increase of uh, omega equal to 10 it's coming down to minus 20 it was plus 20 how much is added minus 20 and so it has become 0 and 0 how much is added minus 20 is added so minus 20 has come so for this factor for this factor k by s only k by s k by s the slope the total slope is is minus 20 db per decade again and do we have a corner frequency for this one for the factor k by s no the corner frequency concept comes when we have a, a factor with two different slopes the slope is continuing 
we don't have uh, yeah this is the slope and uh, we don't have another line any any inter intersection so this factor has no corner frequency and guys remember at this point this factor comes we have to make a table form okay before going much uh, before going to the final uh, plotting of the magnitude to the graph we have to make a uh, table form the easiest convenient way and this k by s or k or k s square or k by s square all that comes first in the table form why because it has no corner frequency corner frequency is zero so that comes first remember this point okay and for the factor k by s the total slope is minus 20 db per decay and it has no corner frequency so no corner frequency what if it's a k by s square it will be minus 40 db and uh, k by s s rise to n it's simply n into minus 20 db per decay that's it so if it's a s rise to 3 3 into minus 20 db it's a minus 60 db per decay like that that's the increment remember for the factor k by s the slope is minus 20 db the slope contribution is minus 20 db and it has no corner frequency make a note please guys yet another important factor while you will come across while solving for board plot confusing and uh, it's a bit tough is it no a beginner feels it's a bit tough no it it's that isn't tough second order quadratic expression in the denominator it's like this one g of uh, g of s will be equal to remember the second order the standard expression for the second order system it's a omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square right if this is the given factor now what will be g of j omega g of uh, j omega plugging in will with the value s is equal to j omega what we have is omega n square as it is and uh, this will be guys uh, here it's a s square isn't it so it's a j omega whole square j square that's minus 1 and omega square right this square is applicable for both the terms isn't it so j square that will be minus 1 omega square so this will be for s square right so straight away that one minus omega square plus 2 zeta omega n and uh, s with uh, j omega this is how we represent that one okay and plus omega n square i is taking out here taking out omega n square has come from all the terms what we have omega n square in the numerator as it is omega n square taken out as common from all the terms what we have here it gives one isn't it there's omega n square has come out so this one from here it's minus omega we have by that omega n which has come out omega n and whole square why because we have a square over here omega n square has come out so omega by omega n whole square for this one close the bracket okay and for the this is for the entire expression i'm sorry and over here plus j 2 zeta omega n square has come out so what we have omega is existing and another omega n will be in the denominator right so go back it will be yeah multiply with this one so square and this gets cancelled we are left with omega n we are left with omega n we'll go back to that one right so now this is the entire expression for this one so something gets cancelled over here this omega n in the denominator in the numerator gets cancelled so finally we are left with that one okay so how to write the expression for the magnitude over here a is equal to uh, straight away okay let's reduce uh, two steps uh, a in db magnitude in db how that can be it's a 20 log it's a guys 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 uh, it should be no <laughs> a bit confusing right a how can that be written as not yet in db a will be equal to the magnitude of g of uh, j omega guys uh, backbench backbencher like me need it in every 
expression in detail for that reason I have come back okay so that will give us one as it is and uh, because we don't have this anymore under root the real term whole square in a sense 1 minus omega by omega n we have that square okay we have this square whole square whole square plus 4 zeta square omega by omega n whole square hope you understand this one right we have done a square plus b square that's it as it is uh, for the magnitude and uh, a in db let's reduce one step okay a in db 20 log 1 minus 20 log this one 20 log 1 is 0 so minus 20 log the denominator part under root under root it's a 1 minus omega by omega n this square and whole square plus 4 zeta square omega by omega n whole square right this is the expression for a magnitude in db magnitude in db make a note please guys i have read it over here for to understand the corner frequency and the slope contribution there are some assumptions okay so here come back over here this is a minus this is a minus b whole square so reducing that expanding that sorry not reducing expanding that what we have it's a uh, a in db is equal to minus 20 log root exists root exists as it is this is a square minus b square so 1 minus uh, what do we have 2 times 2 into a 1 into b omega by omega n whole square it's a omega square by omega n square okay a minus b whole square we are spreading it that into a minus b whole square i'm writing it directly please don't mind plus b square isn't it so that gives us omega square whole square that gives us 4 by omega n 4 guys this don't get confused with this omega and this omega it's a radiance uh, what's that a frequency what's that frequency natural frequency for a second order system and this omega for different values of omega right and uh, this one we have plus 4 zeta square omega square by omega n square as it is right so something could be taken out for simplification a in db is equal to minus 20 log under root root exists we didn't eliminate that 1 minus guys uh, it's a uh, omega square by omega n square as common so we'll be left with negative has come out it's 2 minus 4 zeta square from this and this right and uh, negative has come out so we'll have negative so multiply this we'll go back to that one plus uh, omega rise to 4 by omega n rise to 4 guys two cases to be assumed over here uh, one is uh, this the ratio omega by omega n much lesser than 1 and another one is uh, omega by omega n much greater than 1 so guys in that case now what about this zeta guys uh, do you want to um, now this one with this with this with this assumption this will be having no no much significance this and this any value yeah you will be happy only with values right let's say that what what is that uh, omega the ratio in the sense this has omega is much less than omega n isn't it right and means uh, yeah let's uh, some values let this be 2 omega 2 and uh, 10 happy for this values or should i change no let's go ahead so what we'll be having yeah go for that one it's a uh, guys uh, go for that one it's a uh, 2 square 2 square by it's a uh, divided by 10 square okay into what do we have um, 2 minus 
4 into that is one more point to be remembered zeta you might have solved in your uh, uh, time domain analysis zeta will be 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.8 etc etc which value 0 0.8 let this be zeta it's general 0 0.5 you have already done it 0 0.7 0 point let take that 0 0.7 okay so plugging in that 2 minus 4 into 0 0.7 for for assumption how much this is guys it's a minus minus a, now this value is minus 0 0.032 check this one for the, those values for those assumptions it's 0 0.032 so almost zero isn't it so come over here come over here it's a, a 2 rise to 4 by 10 rise to 4. How much it is? So guys, even that is 0 0.0016, isn't it? It's a 0 0.0016 for these assumptions. For this one, what? For this assumption. So in that case, this can be neglected. Even this can be neglected. We will be left with here. Yeah, this says, the calculation says, uh, for this assumption, for this assumption, we will be having uh, minus 20 log, guys this is a random okay, you may plug in with uh, zeta equal to 0 0.5, right, it is a, uh, this all these for under damp system, zeta lying between 0 to 1, so that is the value I have taken at one, 20 log, uh, this can be neglected because very much smaller values, where nothing significant when compared to this one, so root 1 guys it's a zero right now come over here we are done with this one okay for less value come over here in this case uh, with this one with this assumption with this one in, in a sense reverse the values omega this case right in the sense omega n is very much larger than omega n so reverse the case 10 and uh, this is a 2 so guys over here uh, with the values omega what is that? It is a omega, it is a 10 square by 2 square multiplied with 2 minus 4 times uh, zeta. How much? Previously the same, right? Zeta 0 0.7 square, 0 0.7 square. So, what is that value? Because it is a 1. Oh my god. It is a 1. So, 1 minus 1 we don't have this anymore for this assumption so we'll be left with uh, a in db will be only this will be left over with this assumption okay so that gives us minus 20 log plug in the values yeah one we have minus uh, for these values uh, it's a random way it went one and one minus one that got cancelled and log under root yeah a in db minus 20 log to minus 20 log under root can this be written as a uh, omega square by omega n square whole square is there any problem no that can be written as so this this one gets cancelled okay so guys uh, so that will give us what which is equal to minus 20 log omega by omega n whole square right uh, rise so log a b something like that right so this comes over here making minus 40 log omega by omega n right keep this in mind a in db minus 40 log omega by omega n now let's uh, let's arrange the scale according to this one let that let let us have this omega by omega n equal to 1 omega by omega n equal to 10 and that will be enough to evaluate what's the slope contribution and what's the corner frequency of this one right so guys um, make a note please guys i have rewritten this over here for convenience again right and for this value let's check for what's the what the value of db for omega by omega n equal to 1 so if this is the case omega by omega n equal to 1 we'll be having uh, minus 40 log omega by omega n equal to 1 so that will be 0 db where is that 0 db omega by omega n equal to 1 the gain is uh, the magnitude is magnitude in db is 
zero db this is the point what it says is the slope is zero for this factor for the second order factor up to omega by omega n equal to it's all zero here this one the previous one also omega by omega n all these values are lesser than one isn't it so up to omega by omega n is one it's a zero db line it's a zero db line right and the second case for omega by omega n equal to 10 guys are uh, plugging in that value a in db will be equal to minus 40 log uh, 10 omega by omega n equal to 10 log 10 is 1 so we'll be left with minus 40 this one so minus 40 db at what at what value of omega omega by omega n equal to 10 okay so where is that 40 plus, uh, minus 40 or plus 40 guys it's a minus 40 we have negative from the beginning right so it's a minus 40 here this is the this is the point here this one so guys a 0 db line and a minus 40 db line what is the total slope of the factor the second order factor it's total slope 0 plus minus 40 db slope of uh, the second order quadratic expression for the factor quadratic expression being in the denominator slope is uh, minus 40 db per decade per decade minus 40 db per decade right and uh, yeah a 0 db line of the factor and minus 40 db line of the same factor where that 0 db line and minus 40 db line are meeting intersecting at omega by omega n equal to 1 it says omega by omega n equal to 1 this is the value of uh, frequency at which 0 db line and the 40 db line of the same factor are intersecting right and uh, from this one omega equal to omega n now this guys uh, uh, game changer I should say game changer in the quadratic expression now this one is the omega n is the corner frequency of the second order factor quadratic factor in the denominator of the factor previously it was omega equal to 1 by t for that factor 1 by 1 plus st now s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square for that factor the corner frequency will be equal to omega at omega n why because 0 db line and minus 40 db line are intersecting at omega by omega n equal to 1 and this says omega by omega equal to 1 and omega equal to omega n we have to compare the quadratic expression with the standard uh, second order term second order expression a square plus 2 zeta omega n we have to evaluate that omega n and that will be the corner frequency of the quadratic expression right so once again recollecting what is that uh, the factor is quadratic expression in the, in the denominator and the corner frequency is omega n from the discussion it says and the total slope is minus 40 db per decade guys from here itself if we have uh, g of s is equal to s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square in the denominator sorry hey, hey i'm taking back that word in the numerator in if this is in the numerator uh, the slope will be plus 40 db per decade and again omega n will be the corner frequency of this factor minus 40 db per decade if the quadratic expression is in the denominator if the quadratic expression is in the numerator the total slope will be plus 40 db per decade and so again omega n will be the uh, corner frequency guys not only this one yeah uh, for the factor 1 by 1 plus st what was the total slope it was minus 20 db per decade isn't it so if we have in the numerator that uh, what 1 plus st by 1 now the slope will be plus 20 db per decade right and for the factor k by s the slope is minus 20 db per decade and k into s it's a plus 20 db per decade and this is the conclusion with this information you can go did we finish no 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 not yet you know yet another okay we are almost done with this information we can proceed with the numerical but still you need to have a different authors suggest different approaches okay one of the easiest approaches guys uh, i'll be solving some numerical okay i'll be solving some numerical stay with me not here the next uh, in my next video i'll be solving some numerical i'll stick to these values okay minus 40 db for quadratic expression in the denominator minus 20 db for the first order factor in the denominator etc etc and soon after this one you have to form 
you have to prepare a tabular form that will be very easy you have to prepare a tabular form what that tabular form consists the first one the factor different factors from the given g of s first comes the factor okay and uh, next comes the corner frequency of the different uh, factors next comes um, slope contribution slope contribution by individual factor then comes total slope it's just introduction and without the values i cannot explain all that but this is the tabular form will be sticking whatever whatever given g of s it may be with a quadratic expression it may be uh, four five terms first order terms in the denominator and in the numerator whatever this is the tabular form you have to construct okay and uh, remember once again i'll be sticking to my statement what what factor comes very first that's the main important point over here the factor without corner frequency comes at the first of the tabular form takes the first place in the tabular form yeah i repeat in the tabular form you may have a question what factor comes at the first position the factor without corner frequency corner frequency zero comes occupies the first place in the tabular form right keep that in mind what factor it's a k by s because we don't have a corner frequency it's a straight line from the beginning from this end to that end it may be k by s or it may be k into s or it may be k into s square you guys don't get confused it's not that uh, it's not a uh, rocket science okay we'll solve we can with this information you can uh, solve the board plot problem at a snap seriously believe me these are the k by s k into s okay so these factors comes in the first right and what comes after that one i cannot tell it now because i need to have some values so that can be explained when we go for a numerical right so did i miss something no it's uh, the factors k by s minus 20 k into s that's 20 uh, 1 by 1 plus st it's minus 20 uh, 1 plus st it's uh, we cannot we don't need to prove it's same it's a uh, plus 20 db per decade and uh, uh, quadratic expression in the denominator minus 40 db per decade a quadratic expression in the denominator is a uh, plus 40 db per decade and the corner frequency for the quadratic expression is omega n we have to evaluate comparing with the standard second expression for the second order system guys hope you understood the okay, seriously believe me with this information you can do it in a snap board plot okay so thanks for watching support me please with a valuable share